I literally went running just so I could screw up my hair properly to take a shower and do the rest of my hair. So this is where my hair is at now. Time to take a shower. Tell you this much, I did not run very far. <laughs> Ooh. This guy, and then this guy. Next thing's up, gotta put this guy in a towel. So here's what I've learned with my hair. Uh, my hair has gone on several journeys. As you guys know, I got short hair, I got bangs, my necklace is the wrong way around, and caught in my hair. This is good, this is good so far. The thing I've realized uh, with my hair is that you gotta work smarter, not harder. Uh, so I let my hair. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Come on, bitch, you got this. I let my hair air dry halfway, and then I actually start doing all the crazy shit to it. So what I'm gonna do is go take a nap for 45 minutes and take some antacid because. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm so hung up! Also, to the people all up in my comment section on my Instagram being like, why do you have a unibrow? Do you see a unibrow here? No. Right? I'm trying to give my brows a break. If you knew my history, my trichotillomania, you wouldn't be making comments about my brows. Just wanna point that out. One thing I'm gonna do before I totally pass out um, is that I am going to get my hair in a position while it's wet that won't like make my bangs go crazy as they dry. This is how greatness happens, guys. If you have that problem where your bangs almost look like robot bangs because you blow dry them right out of the shower, um, let it half dry in like the position that you like and then blow dry and do it kind of sparingly because otherwise you get like, you know, like full curl, like argh, like Sunday school kind of like, mm, yes, that's what I do to prevent the hardcore edge of my bangs. I will be back in a little bit. Two hours later. Ready to go. Okay, so. Hair is mostly dry, bangs are pretty dry. You can see there's still a little bit of wetness to work with, which is great. Ah, why? This is the hair dryer I use. Um, this is the Conair Professional Nano Silver Ceramic Hair Dryer. It means nothing to me other than it does a pretty damn good job. The thing that I like about this is that the lower um, power option here works really well with my hair um, and I do high heat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to blow dry my entire head until like my actual hair hair, not just my bangs, um, is mostly dry. In fact, all dry would be great. Um, and then I am going to also round brush my bangs. This is the Nanotechnology Ceramic Plus Ionic Miraki Brush. Once again, something that I just picked up at a salon. Holds no special place in my heart, but it works. It gets the job done. Now that that is mostly all dry, it only has a little bit of moisture left in it, I'm gonna put some of the, oh, hey, sh fell over. Um, I am going to put some of the Orbe dry texturizing spray on my hair, um, blow dry it just a little bit more, and then go in with a curling rod. And I don't go crazy with this at first, I go crazy with it at the end. And now we're gonna go back in with the blow dryer for just a quick sec to just solidify all this nonsense and to get these bangs popping. Now here's one thing I'll say about bangs. When you're round brushing your bangs, I've learned this like over time and it's really helped me, um, less is more in every way. The moment you start like really doing your bangs is when they look very articulated and very well rounded. So if you like that look, do that. If you want it to be a little bit more boho and just like chill and not so much, which is usually how I like my bangs, um, just do like a quick little run through with the, with the brush, but don't go crazy. And also don't go too small of a brush. This is a two and a half. 
um, and because my bangs are a little longer now this works if my bangs are shorter because sometimes they can go like halfway up my forehead because I'm a crazy bitch like that then you probably need a smaller brush and just like that I just put a little bit of heat on it to kind of activate the hair and like make it want to go curly and then I just like let this little thing have its moment. Do you see how like already that is so done? So I don't like to go too crazy. That's that's it. That's it. That's all I do. Did you did you see how long I did that for? It was nothing. Absolutely nothing. So unless you have just like a really difficult hair texture, that's what I would say to you is like less is more. Just do what you need and like get out of there. Just look how red my ears are. Lol. Um, on a regular day, I could literally wear this like this and just like leave the house and maybe put some hairspray in. I know I've been sponsored by Suave before, but this is non-spawn. I actually really, really do like this natural hold hairspray. I love the way the can feels um, and it smells delicious. You know what it kind of smells like to me? Oh my f This is gonna be such a reference and like probably no one's gonna get this, but let me know if you get this. Every Hallmark in the country smells the same. And I, when I smell this scent, I smell Hallmark and I can picture myself eating jelly beans in Hallmark when I smell this. You know how Hallmark always had like candy counters? Oh my God, I'm having like a throwback. <sighs> TBT moment right now. Is Hallmark even still open? Yeah, it must be. I would really break my heart if they closed. I'm gonna go check. Now I wanna know. Is Hallmark still in business? Yeah, Hallmark's still around. Oh my God, I used to get all my webkins from Hallmark. This is too much for this tutorial right now. Okay, I'm gonna save that for later. That's what we've done. This is great. Now how do we get it all curly and lovely and fun? Um, we curl it. So I've got this bad boy. Um, this is the same line as my hair dryer. This is the Nano Silver Conair Professional Ceramic. And it gets soy hot. Very, very hot. <laughs> Does anybody else do this with their significant other? I always tell Will when I have an iron on because I don't want him to like walk into the bathroom and just like pick it up with his hands because I feel like he would. Or like put his glasses down and melt them because he has done that before and he blames me for it Ugh, drama king if you didn't know that about will drama king anyways oh smells like burnt hair i think it's ready to go so i'm pretty haphazard about this there is nothing like special about the way that i curl my hair really other than i alternate inward and outward so that it looks a bit more natural on this side of my face i do it towards the center of my face like this and on this side of my face, I do it outward for whatever reason. I think it's because I typically tuck this ear and I usually leave this one hanging. So I like there to be volume on this side. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I have nothing to hold my hair up. So I'm gonna use this tiny ass clip that probably is not going to last. Woo, this is cute. So all this is gonna get curled. I know I'm contradicting myself by uh, curling this part of my hair away from my face, the exact opposite of what I told you, um, but I do the inverted version of this on the upper parts of my hair on this side. Um, I go kind of buck wild on the bottom parts of my hair because like I don't really care. <laughs> I kind of rely on the fact that I use like a texturizing spray and like let it air dry to kind of give me natural wave. So if I miss any pieces, cause I am very bad at curling my hair, it doesn't look crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I have tinder greens coming and I need it. Okay, now that the bottom bits are mostly are all curled up and kind of just have texture, I literally use these bits of my hair just to add volume to the rest of it. So now I'm gonna take this down and you can see how already even this kind of just like pushes this up a little bit. Now I'm just gonna do the top bits and usually I get a bit piecier with this. Like I'll do kind of smaller chunks or just like little strands like this um, so that I can just kind of give it kind of almost like a bird's nest look. It's like an avant-garde bird's nest. So that's what I'm going to do. Whew, sorry, I had to take a quick little break because my Postmates got here. Oh, that is so good. 
and the progress we've made so far. We've got some curly friends up here that are doing well. I need to do the back. I need to do this side. Right now, this is reminding me of that episode in Parks and Rec where Leslie gets half of a perm done. Maybe I should just do an entire video recapping my favorite episodes of Parks and Rec. <laughs> Since that seems to be my main passion <laughs> as of late. Here I am curling more hair. This is boring to watch, but it's almost done. Now that almost my entire head is curled, um, I can go in with more texturizing spray. The biggest thing about that is like, I love this hair, but I am not gonna curl my hair every single day. So when I use dry texturizing spray, it actually keeps the style longer so that tomorrow it'll look almost exactly the same, maybe just like a little bit wavier, but like I'm totally happy with that. What I like to do is almost bake my hair, which kind of sounds ridiculous. I like to put in dry texturizing spray. Um, once again, this is the Orbe one. I don't know of another product that competes um, with this product. If you guys have any cheaper options, please let me know because this shit is expensive. I feel like I'm like making a car payment every time I buy this stuff. Spray it on the top bits. Spray it all in the bottom like that and then I will leave this for 30 minutes so the curls get like super kind of locked in and it means that you know when I brush this out or like sleep on it tonight it'll still keep texture which is great um, so I'm gonna let this bake we'll call it marinating your hair so I'm gonna marinate my hair for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back to it okay we are back um I'm gonna now mess up my hair like this because I watched an episode of Barks and Rec and I left this for 20, 30 minutes so it should be all marinated. I like to push this all forward as well. Like depending on what your haircut shape is, I think this just like helps volume, especially with the spray. And then I just like push everything back, right? And as you can see, just doing that, like reactivating that powder, just makes everything voluminous and nice and like fluffy. And so you get this like big, messy, short hair monstrosity. You guys can probably tell on my Instagram, my social media, but usually I have my ears exposed. I like to tuck my hair in everyday life because it just like, gives me comfort i don't know what it is but i actually really love the look of like hair peeking out from behind ears um so guys that is how i do my hair i hope that was helpful in some way um yeah i just got this requested a lot recently i think it was one fateful selfie that just pushed you guys over the edge and you were like we need a tutorial bitch where is it um so that's the dealio. I guess I'm making this video to tell you that you can have short hair and bangs and not have like the most impossible hair routine ever because at a couple different steps of this full routine, I could have stopped. I could have literally like round brushed my bangs, put a little hairspray in or a dry texturizing spray and just left it. So on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this and you wanna see more hair tutorials or anything like this, just let me know because I really like doing them and I think they're fun. And as long as I get to hang out with you, I'm having a good time. Also comment down below and let me know what your favorite Parks and Rec episode is because um, I'm binging all of the episodes again and I love a good recommendation. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if I have convinced you to cut either your bangs or your actual hair um, shorter. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.